Hi, I'm Barbara Wainwright, the founder of Wainwright Global Institute of Professional Coaching, and I am here with Jason Arisp, and I'm excited to introduce you to him. He is a wonderful coach and uh, has just been through a hurricane experience, so I'm so honored to have you here. Thank you so much, Jason, for joining me. Thanks, Barbara, for having me uh, today. All right. So, Jason, tell me what drew you to the profession of coaching. You know, I, I think where I like most professional coaches, uh, it was something that just came naturally. It was some, something I was already doing, uh, you know, with friends, family and relatives, that kind of thing with my circle of influence. And uh, it just came along for me to do that professionally and just made sense. It was the right fit. Nice, nice. So what genre of coaching are you in? So um, me and my wife together, she's also a certified coach, um, mm-hmm. Megan Arisby and uh, we do relationship coaching together, and then independently, I work primarily in the area of business coaching, success coaching for professionals, leadership coaching. Nice. Leadership coaching has to be very rewarding. It, it is, you know, and I think that's really uh, what drew me into this uh, profession more so. I, I felt like, you know, I'd, I'd had success professionally, and I certainly knew what a leader was. Uh, I'd had lots of leadership training and there was this whole uh, movement in the leadership realm about training people and empowering them to be leaders. But what we weren't doing was training leaders to think. And, you know, what I took away from my professional coaching career so far is the ability to really teach others um, a better way of thinking so that they can apply leadership skills in a real fashion rather than just acting the part. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, so instead of going by rote in the book, being more authentic and true. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Absolutely. So Jason, do you have a story about a coaching success story that you'd like to share with us? I do. And you know, it's funny, you know, in our book, The Power of Coaching, one of the things that we talk about is uh, one of the key skills of a good coach is being able to uh, not be a mentor. Right. And what that means. And, you know, one of my clients uh, found a tremendous amount of success through um, that aspect. So uh, they were a couple and he was uh, thinking about ending his relationship, which doesn't necessarily agree with my belief system. Mm -hmm. And what I found was, uh, you know, I could have at that moment been a mentor, coached him in a way that says, you know, hey, my belief system says that you should figure something out, work it out and stay married. But the reality is because I was able to use some of the professional tools uh, that we talk about in the book. Mm -hmm. um, I think that really what the end result was he's now leading a happier, healthier life, led him to a series of decisions that were his own and not influenced by mine. And I think that's the key to real professional coaches versus being, you know, a mentor or a trainer, right? I agree. I agree. It's helping people to go inside and figure out their own truth and what really works and asking, how's that working for you? Is it, you know, how's that feel inside? You know, I agree. Yeah. Well, you're helping people live out their own authentic belief system, right? So, I mean, really that's the key to our success as a society is that we're all being authentic with each other. And that's really key. Yeah, I agree. So Jason, do you have any words of wisdom that you'd like to share with our audience before we close? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're considering either being a coach or you're considering being a client of a coach, you know, I would just encourage you to, to take a, a close look. Use our book, The Power of Coaching, to understand and have uh, a, a clear expectation about what does it mean to be a coach? What does it mean to be coached? Um, what should I expect? And what am I going to get out of it? And I think really that's going to help empower both people who are coaches and people who are clients of coaches to have the best experience that they can, whether they're, you know, a client of one of our authors or they're a client of someone else's. I really think that this book is going to help them do that. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Jason, for taking the time to be on this interview with me. I appreciate you very much. Barbara, thanks a lot for your time today. You have a great day. Thanks.